You watched my new video where I talked about that? I was like, bro, I don't even know why y'all wanted to do this at a collab. We gonna have some trash animations. Y'all gonna feel disrespected. <laughs> it would be a good, it would be good on Last Claudia. Yeah, it would be good on Last Claudia because it would actually, like, look good. On uh, GS, but we gonna have some lines. That's it. Have you seen Vox's true art? No, no, go to Vox, go to Vox, go to Vox. Look at it. Look at that. It's a bunch of lines, fool. It's a bunch of lines, Collins. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, fool. Where, where's the paper at, fool? Let me show you, fool. They were dead. They just went to the recording studio and went, mofo. They just went. You tore the napkin. Vox is true art. Right there. You can't even see it. That's how. Vox is, Vox is true art. I rest my case. <laughs> Vox is true art. Okay. All right. Today we got we got OP here today. Oh. Yes, All right. Today, what's up, everybody? <laughs> We're gonna be talking about uh, the expectations from or for Grand Summoners in 2020. Mainly his opinion. And what he expects, to be honest, because y'all basically already heard mine. The game's gonna fucking die. Start from the roadmap. Let's go to the roadmap you right here. You start from the roadmap? Yeah, let's go to the roadmap right here. Okay, bro, let me, let me talk about my problems with this, alright? So we got the first thing. So we got a rerun of it, but they got... They redid the rewards. So you got uh, the crystals and everything again, which that was fine. But I played that event just to get the crystals and I stopped. Pretty much like everybody else did. So scroll on down, bro. I'm gonna tell you what the problem is. So you get that. We get the kill it kill it reset. Who cares? Okay, now go on down. We get the dark fin. Dark fin should be coming out in like what, like a few days. So that's all right. I'm hyped for dark fin, even though he's supposed to be later on down the line. He's supposed to be really come out like January. But still, the Daku or whatever the heck it's called. That's all right. The Xmas event rerun is literally garbage. The equips are so outdated. They're not going to add any new equips, more than likely. And there's no, like, fan service type of units. Like, they don't have a holiday race. Like, a Christmas iris. Or iris a Christmas, like, fin. That's not a thing that they do. So, there's no point in getting hyped to GS during the holidays. Because unless you're spending money, that's the only thing you should get hyped for. Because, uh, you know, fool, you got them deals. That's it. Like... Buy crystals. Pass. Yeah, that's it. Like, there's no content coming out for that. There's no gameplay stuff. I mean, then we got this right here in late December, which is the unit of choice ticket, which a lot of people are going to be hyped for this because new units are getting added. Of course, the if you're new to the game, you're not... Unless you already used your unit of choice ticket, which you should have already used it um, for Finn. But if you didn't use it for Finn, then you're going to pick Finn this time around. So you're not going to be able to really select from any of these new ones because you really shouldn't pick any of the new ones unless you already have Finn. So, like, that's gonna come out. The Forever Summon is nowhere to be found, by the way, like my dad. And then we have the new Summoner's Reset. That's, that's alright. Like, like, they reset that thing every time, but it's only 140 crystals. And I really wish they would also reset the story whenever they did that. Just to get more people more crystals, because rerunning the same event for six months straight isn't giving anybody nothing. It's not. Elk? Hey, somebody get the men out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, let's keep on going. Bro, so, we got the advanced content, which I don't even know. With, like, the Dungeon of Trials and the um, Fire Floors and all that, I don't even know if those are, like, the new, new uh, Dungeon of Trial, like, not Dungeon of Trials, but the new, like, stages. So, like, stages, like, all the way up to, like, stage 10. Because if it's not, then that's garbage. And also, I just want to point out, too, they lied to us on multiple occasions. Because this is actually uh, supposed to come out a lot sooner. This is supposed to come out like very soon after Crunchyroll Expo. And then, not only that, they also said Mines was going to come out this year. And it's not going to come out this year, it's going to come out next year. So, that's another thing. And they also said that they were coming soon at Crunchyroll Expo. And then, bro, doing this like thing where it's like the new unit, I don't like that. Like, I wish they would add like a silhouette or something. Because they could dance and be like, oh, this is a ninja. They could. Like, <laughs> they could dance and just be like, that's a ninja. Instead of it being Dark Kane. Because that should be Dark Kane. I, I really hate, too, how everything that they have is all about summoning. There's nothing about content. This is the first piece of new content that veteran players are actually going to be able to play. Like, that actually will give them somewhat of a challenge. So, everything else is the same thing. 
that raid is gonna be a rerun. That's the Demon Globe raid. We already yeah. had that. Uh, we had the All Star Summon. Why would they put a new unit on the All Star Summon? Who knows? Fuck you, Yama. So then we got the Renewed Awoken pack. Yeah, Jerome. He's already in there. Some I got people, him from there. Some people don't have Jerome. I mean, Norn's in there, Norn, which I, I'm hyped nice, about. But I'm not spending money on this game. Anymore. Unless, like, something hype comes out. That's it. So, it's literally crazy to me, bruh. It's, it's crazy. So, like, there's no new content coming at all. And then, the only new content that we know for sure is that there's going to be a new crossover. That's it. And that new crossover isn't going to bring much. It doesn't bring, like, a new, like, boss stage or anything. It's a new event. And that's it. You redo the same event, the same gameplay loop, over and over. And it's just like, bruh. And you do, they don't listen to us either. Like, that's very important from like a developer standpoint. Especially for a mobile game. That's how mobile games live or die. If you don't like mind your community and actually talk to them and actually get them to know like what you want them to do, or, like what you want to do and stuff, it's trash. Because like, all I'm gonna say is, it took us months to get answers for half the stuff that we wanted. In Dragon Ball Legends, they added that new 14-star uh, system. Literally, three days after they added, people were complaining about it and said they're already going to do stuff to fix it. They're going to add, like, those all Z powers that you can start using at 4-star instead of 5-star. So, it's like a little bit of a compromise. It's not completely a compromise, but it's something. At least they did respond to it. The GS wouldn't have did that. If GS released, like, all the Blood Knights on one banner, and then... Made it to where you had to pay to get every single Blood Knight. Like, maybe you had to pay, like, $100, and people said that was garbage. And then imagine if they added, like, a new Awakening. Like, to where it's not only Awoken units, you can, like, reawaken a unit or something. And then, like, we they would add those, and they wouldn't say anything else. Like, they wouldn't ever, like, be like, oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, maybe we should do something else to change this. They wouldn't do that. And that's, like, the main problem with GS. is like, they don't ever be like, hey, we messed up. RB. Like, they never want to admit that. Because they don't feel like they've done anything wrong. Even though they have. I mean, like, bruh. Literally, Global in 2019 was literally rerun summoners. That's all it was. We got Tensura reset <laughs> for, like, four months straight. That was Tensura. Bruh. The that time, was a long time. Bro, for that four was months a really straight. Long time. Four months straight. And then we get another rerun, which is Kill a Kill. And then, I mean, we got Goblin Slayer 2, which was... All right, I guess. I mean, I'm not really too much into. I mean, One Punch Man came with the new yeah, units, but, but it, it, it was the it was same thing. The same yeah, thing, yeah. It was like the, at least it added new units. Like it wasn't like just like a complete, just wash. But the new units were garbage. Like they, they added new units, which they they was did, based off summoning with no content. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing to because if you're a veteran player, apart from you farming out, and apart from you like just doing all the events, there's no way to just get crystals consistently because it's not like in other games because in epic 7 and in any other game you can play arena for your weekly crystal count if you're a veteran like you can get placed high in arena and you get crystals like that that's not the case for gs you don't get that at all so there's no point in playing arena after you get the main rewards from arena like Deus jade um what's the other thing you get from there uh, optimal rage stuff like that there's no point in playing arena anymore so arena is completely like a useless feature after you play it for like the thousand wins or whatever you'd never need to play arena again and then giant bosses are useless too after you beat them like there's no reason for you to farm a giant boss after you beat them and get their equipment like once unless you're doing something like ldh and you want multiple so there's nothing that's like there's no replay value in the game you know what i mean like that after you do it that's it and i mean that's fine but the fact that that's it and it's literally just that's it like there's nothing after that there's nothing like a, a step beyond that then you have the crest palaces reset but like there's no, like, end goal in GS apart from just getting the best crest you can. That's it for right now. Because there's no mines. It's not like you want to beat all 100 floors of the mines. That There's nothing like that really global. There's no boss rush, which I don't know why they haven't added that. I feel like that would be, like, a great game mode where you just, like, go through. A whole bunch of bosses. And yeah, just and you just in, fight bosses. Yeah, you just yeah. fight bosses over and over and over. And that's just what you do. I didn't even think about that. That's a good thing, too. Yeah, like, and... That that would be perfect. That would be perfect, GS, because the way how it works, like, there would be units specifically good only for that game. Like, just the, a straight boss rush and stuff. And it's like, it's just crazy to me, because GS has been around for two years at this point, and, like, the most communication we got was, like, at Crunchyroll Expo. And 
after Crunchy, also I want to mention this too. After Crunchyroll kind of joined GS, for a little bit we actually had something going, like in the community. Like we had like, we didn't really have feedback, but they kind of knew what they were doing. Like they knew like, oh, we want new units. They were pacing them really well. They were doing all that stuff really nice. And I also want to mention too, before Crunchyroll did the partnership, uh, they had a Reddit AMA, like around like the first year anniversary. And this was before Crunchyroll became like a partner with GS. And uh, people were asking them, like, are the Bullet Knights going to come out unnerved? And they said, yes, they'll come out later on down the line. So that's later on down the line. It's like, I'm expecting like three or four months. After Crunchyroll got partnered, instantly get released. So I feel like Crunchyroll kind of did that to an extent because Crunchyroll kind of decides to, like I said, to an extent where they get some of the money and GS doesn't. Like, that's the whole point of the partnership. Like, yeah, they'll fund GS, but they get some of the money, and they kind of depict sometimes what gets released and what doesn't. Because that's what happened, Craig was telling me that's what happened in Damachi, because in Damachi, uh, they did the same thing. They reeled it with crossovers, and they reeled it with uh, banners, and they were hardly ever giving you new content. And that's what they did. They just kept pushing out money and money and money, and just kind of was like, we're not going to do anything else. Which, I don't think they have the same power over Last Claudia, because in Last Claudia, they are releasing new content and all that but it's not like and they super accelerated rate like they did with gs where they released units but they didn't release the content which i said too i would be perfectly fine if they released like they did exactly what they did they just also released all the content with it and they didn't do that so it's not that hard i feel like just to translate a few things and to add it to the global version like i don't feel like it's that hard <laughs> if 2020 start out and it's a crossover and that's all we get People leaving the game, bro. People already tell me in the council hall. People tell me in up in my Discord. Hey, man. If it's a crossover, or like, if it's like no new content, it's just more banners, we're probably done. Like, people's already moved on. Like, they have. Like, people started playing Dragalia. People mm -hmm. started playing Dragon Ball. People started playing Last Claudia. People started playing uh, FFBE, uh, Dissidia, freaking Black Desert Mobile. Like, there's so many other games that you can play that gives you that long term to it that, that gives you that longevity where you do play a game that it will really entertain you for hours and hours and hours and pretty much they'll always update the game and they're always talking to their player base they're always letting their player base know like hey this is happening and this isn't happening you know even in pokemon masters pokemon masters went completely downhill like they were really not doing that good they really said all right we're halting everything they didn't release like hardly any new units at all they just kept rerunning banners, but they were releasing new content. They were completely fixing the game. They did that in a three-month span. They fixed everything about the game. NGS can't do that at all. So, like, it's crazy. Of course, Pokemon Masters does have a lot more money because it's Pokemon. But, like, it's just wild to me, bro. And especially, bro, they have no effort, bro. You cannot tell me, bro, they got effort in this game. Like, bro, most of the true arts are just swirls, lines. Like, the best true art in this game probably still is, like, I don't know, like rags or something, or like the best. Oh no, Corsair with the dragon. I mean, it comes <laughs> in there, bro. It, 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 oh, my, it goes my. in and out. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, yeah, but like you know, there's like there's nothing to get hype about, and even like the summoning in the game doesn't feel rewarding because whenever you go do a summon, the animations are so garbage. It's just like there's no type of. I, well, I do say the animation is garbage, but the hypest animation you can get is congratulations. Everything else, like getting Ganon and everything like that, like whenever I do that in my videos and I get hyped, like it's not me getting hyped because of the animation. It's more so me getting hyped to hype your guys up because that animation don't hype me up, bro. Whenever I see Ganon come in, just like, what's up, bro? <laughs> <that's it. laughs> like, bro. So Boros, um, I mean. I mean, Boros looks alright. I mean, some of them do have, like, that type of, like, twist to them. But I will say that it's mostly crossover units. Not all the units have that type of personality to them. And... <laughs> oh, it crashed. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> you keep on talking. But yeah, for like I was saying, like, you know, like, it doesn't have, not all the units have that type of personality. It's really only crossover units. So like, you're not going to see any other unit in the game dance to a true art, like Mako does. You're not gonna see any other unit in the game do some crazy ass thing where they use a scissors to do damage, like Ryuko. Like, you're not gonna see that. And some of them are cool. Like, Ash, for example, he has some personality because he throws up the chains and stuff. I don't wanna make it sound like that, like all of them don't, but like, 
some of them like feel like that they're kind of like not going as hard as they should especially because they're newer units especially like Vox like Vox should have had such a cooler true arc than just the lines because he's by default like from a lore standpoint just like in general he's is like the strongest person to ever exist like next to rags like rags is the strongest but like Vox is like one of the strongest and then also next to duke and then duke's true art don't even look that good and it what's himes it's a ball but see like lines that, yeah, yeah but like see like it's lines and i understand that they can't really do much because they're like oh it's a 2d it's a 2d background it's a 2d game they can't do that much you saying it's a 2d game bro i want you to look up some like look like go to go to youtube right now and type in type in ffbe ffbe cg cloud that's all i want you to do it is a 2d game too it is a 2d game too and bro watch this watch this like bro click on it this one yes this is a 2d game and this is what i was talking about imagine if this was a true art animation like this is a 2d game of course it's final fantasy but this is a 2d game Now look, that fool, that is a 2D game. And not only that, like- That's a summon animation? No, that's his animation for his attack. And then in, it goes in back- In-game? Yeah, like, look, fool, like, click on the top one. The top one's probably better. Like, see, look. Like, oh, well. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> look, like, see, it's a 2D game, and he literally will do- I don't know if this has any uses of the attacks. Like, see, like, they don't have just that. Like, they have all these attacks, and of course, that's FBE, but like, look, like, Oh, fool, what are we rounded for? Like, I want to just show you, like, how he attacks. Like, it's not going to be, like, just lines and stuff. Like, you see, like, that's literally, like, sparks going everywhere. Like, that's electricity and stuff like that. Like, it's just not that. And you see, like, the orbs come around. You won't see that in GS. You won't see that type of, like, that same type of, like, creativity in Grand So, And, like, you see, the other thing is true about GS. There's no boss variation. Like, look at this. What is that? What is that? You see that? What do you mean? Like, look. And like right here, like there is no like different things, and it's just crazy to me, bro. Cause they could do stuff like this, they could, but they don't. Like you see all the like he literally just spawned a tornado. Like bro, like he's cloud, cloud throwing out tornadoes, like. Tornadoes, fool? <laughs> really, and I, I hate when people say I can't compare mobile games to mobile games. I know that, and I know why people say that, but you're bullshitting. That's fucking false. Because if I can't compare a mobile game to a mobile game, then why can I compare something like, for example, games of the same genre? Like, why can I compare FF14 to Black Desert Mobile? Or, like, why can I compare, like, FF14 to something like Art Age 2? Like, I can't because they're in that same genre. They are in the same genre where they are both those type of mobile games. Of course, they for different IPs. GS is a completely new IP, and Final Fantasy has been established. But you guys get the point. Like, it's just like lack of effort. They don't really try, and if you guys think they try, they don't. <laughs> they really don't. Like, you'd be surprised. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now. You know, I, I really ain't supposed to say this, but I was told by people that you know have connections with GS and all that, and they give them that feedback, and they told them to shut up and let them do their job. So, take that how you will. That's what the dev team said to them one time. So, imagine asking for new content. That's what they say. Imagine talking to, like, anybody that, like, runs a business. But you want to help improve their product. And they're like, shut up and let me do my job. To make it for the better. <laughs> Like, it wasn't even to me, it was to people that had that connection, because they won't talk to me. They, I think they refused to talk to me. But, it's not like I would say anything bad to them. I would literally just give them ideas. But literally, like, they never ever re reach out to me. And, you know, people actually do have a lot of opinions about that, how I'm not, like, a big ambassador or anything for the game. Even though, like, I make content on the game, like, every single day and stuff. I don't think they'll ever do that. Just because, like, the way how... I tell you, I'll tell you like it is. I don't sugarcoat anything, so. Like, bro, like, look at that. Like, bro, imagine you pop a true art, and that's how, like, it starts. Like, 
Do you see that fool? Like, that's what I was talking about in my video where I was like, bro, I want CGI animations. And look, like, that's not it. Like, that's the, that was just the cutscene. And then that's the. He goes into the cutscene and then goes back into the. Yeah, and then it goes into its actual attack animation. Yeah. And that's what I was saying. Like, you could do that for multiplayer. So, like, you wouldn't slow down multiplayer. You just do the actual, like, attack. You don't do the CGI. Like, bro, he put out a motorcycle, bro. Like. <laughs> that video ended so quick. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't expect you guys to say, like, I, like, think, like, too much of GS. Like, I mean, yeah, the game's gonna be around. It's gonna be there. But never, at least, like, with its current, like, team and stuff, I know that they're working and stuff like that, but it really doesn't feel like they're working that hard. And I also feel like it's the same studio. Like, they don't have two different teams. They only have, like, one team working on both games. Like, the Japanese and global side. So that's why it's so slow too, I feel like. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't really expect much from GS in the future. Because apart from them just releasing units, don't ever then don't ever expect them to release like a brand new game mode. That probably will not happen. Mines is the closest thing to that, but it's still the same core game mode. So don't ever expect them to do that. Don't ever expect them to like maybe release like live PvP. Cause that would just be it doesn't work for that game. It doesn't. And there's a lot of problems with it, man. Nothing, like, really works out. <laughs> to the point to where I, I want to, like, play it every single day. Like, I used to. Because used to, you had something to look forward to. You had the new events coming all the time. You had new units, everything. Of course, there was content droughts. But it wasn't, like, as bad as it is now. Where, where veterans are just, like, we have nothing to do. Apart from out farming Chris. That's it. Like... Bro, that's terrible. <laughs> that's actually terrible. I played different games for years before I played GS. And I understand why I got popular off of GS. But, like, at the same time, I hope people realize that GS, you have to be realistic, and GS isn't going to be around for years upon years upon years. Like, it's not like something that has that long term dedication. Because I say, I would say this depending how next year goes. The third anniversary may be the last anniversary for Global. At least that's how I feel. I feel like they're gonna get to the third anniversary and depending on how next year goes, will depend exactly how everything happens. So, if next year's really good and they add a lot of stuff and they start listening and turning a complete 180, then yeah, that's pretty good. But if not, then uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, because <laughs> I don't feel like it's gonna get past the third anniversary. This more so, the moral of everything is, I just want more content. Like, units are cool, the Cross the Blaze units are cool, and all that, they came out in Japan. But Japan also has content droughts. But Japan has multiple game modes. They have mines already, they have raids. Mines and raids alternate every month. Like, it goes raids, then mines. Raids, mines, raid, mines, raid, mines, over and over and over. So they always have something to do. We don't have that in Global. Also, like, the amount of times they rerun a raid in Japan compared to Global is like, they rerun the same raid like over thousands of times in Global pretty much. Uh, not figuratively speaking, not literally, but they've only rerun those raids like a few times in Japan. Like whenever those raids come, they're very exclusive. That's it, like, you, you do the raid, it may come back next time or it may not. Like, they're probably gonna do something else. And that raid may come back like very, like later, way on down the line. I don't know what else I could say. Well, lack of creativity, and not like creativity, you know, lack of effort, no content. I guess you said lack of creativity too. I mean, like, I, I don't want to say they're not creative because their stories are creative, but like their execution is very poor on most of their stuff. Like, it just doesn't make sense half the time. So, the game gets very stale after you played it for like a few months. And if you are like a new player, you won't get any of this until you are at that stage where you aren't no longer a new player. You played the game for a few months. Then you'll hit this stage where you're just like, there's really nothing to do. And it's not. And you can't really like, I mean, they've done good stuff too. I don't want to make it sound like they've only done bad. They've done good stuff too. Like they released the Crest Palaces. They updated those. They gave us new Crest Palaces throughout the year. That, that was something really nice. They constantly try to like do that probably like every like three or four months, which was good. They uh, 
They haven't buffed. Actually, wait. Is that actually the only thing they've done? Hold up, bro. Let me think. I mean, they gave us the Forever Summon, like, last year. I mean, pretty much, like, apart from, like, them doing, like, their basic stuff, they haven't done, like, anything, like, out of the ordinary. Like, anything crazy. They, they're not going to give us a free multi-summon, like, every banner, where we don't have to use any kind of crystals. They're not going to do that at all. Like, that's just not a thing that happens. So, apart from them, like, just adding content that's pretty much the only thumbs up i can give them because everything else is like just not it if you're a free-to-play player you're such a you're at such a disadvantage i'm gonna be honest with you this game is free to play friendly but like at the same time you are at such a disadvantage if you don't spend some kind of money because after you do that first multi that's it you there's no more guaranteed five star so you have to go against the five percent rate and then even then, whenever you get that five star finally, you're at a lower rate than if you were paying for like the featured unit. So, oh, I'm pretty sure you are. You may not be, but I'm pretty sure you are. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Keep 100. I'm out.